Well, welcome to Overbury Farms and uh, the Missouri Direct Drill uh, Trial. We're drilling Scout Winter Wheat. And those of you that read Farmers Weekly, it, on the, uh, the 30th of September, there was an issue about management matters in which we were costing out the direct drilling operation versus conventional tillage. And this is sort of where we've got to, really. This is the Missouri 3 meter pro-till drill. Um, just behind the tractor, there's the, there's the deep cultivating legs. They're moving all the tractor around quite nicely, followed by the press wheel, followed by the drill coulters. And uh, what you can see, it does look a little bit odd to um, somebody who's used to seeing very nice flat fields. But as you get down in amongst the, uh, amongst the tilth, you can see that there is very little trash sort of where the seeds are going to come up through in this sort of band sown area. Um, all the trash seems to have been parted into the top of these ridges. Uh, whether that's good or bad, I've yet to see. Martin says that it's good because um, you know the trash has been removed so the seed hasn't got competition as it comes through. You could also argue on the other side that that is a haven for slugs, especially if we're going to, well, if we don't roll it. I think we probably will roll it. Um, but whether we can get the consolidation to reduce the slugs mobility uh, with these ridges actually kind of holding the rolls up from where the seed is actually in contact with the soil. Uh, so we shall wait and see how that develops. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's looking quite good. The other, the other part of the field, which we actually drilled probably 10 days ago, is just starting to emerge. Um, this whole field is mid-tilled bar the headland, which we sort of cultivated with the top down and then drilled straight into it. But the middle of the field um, has just had the rape stubble topped. Then we pulled a rake over it to try and chit up any grass weeds that might be around. We sprayed that off and then we just direct drilled straight into that with the Sprinter, Simba Horse Sprinter six meter drill. And then the Missouri drill is doing this part of the field as well. Again, just over the, over the brow there, we've also got a one hectare um, fallow plot as per the malting barley field. Uh, that's to encourage uh, farmland birds to give them a bit of nesting nesting habitat. And the field just in the on the horizon there is one that was done with variable rate soil um, seed rate maps and um, again I'll, I'll try and do a video on that at some stage. Maybe walking across the field um, north-south looking at the different seed rates and how that's uh, sort of emerged and how that's, dem how that's being demonstrated. Uh, it's a glorious day today, it's probably too hot, we're in the middle of a heat wave, we could have done with this weather in August, um, <clears throat> probably going to get to 28, 29 degrees again today, which for the 1st of October seems a bit crazy. Um, anyway, tune in later on to find out how the drilling is going. There's a good bunch of linnets there that's appeared just on the, on the stubbles there, so that's always good news. Uh, doing a bit for farmland birds, they'll be picking up bits of rapeseed that, uh, that were left from the previous crop. So tune in later on, find out what we're up to.